Yeah. yeah. Well, we're going to do that. We really yeah. are. But before I start, I got I have some things to to show everybody. I'm pretty excited about this. You know, first of all, we talked last week about the uh, waxed cords that we're lacing the cables with. And where do you get that? Hundreds of places. Somebody even sent me a picture of his roll. There you go. You can go buy this. You go on eBay and you'll find it in different colors even. And it's just all kinds of stuff out there. But uh, Gene has been so helpful to us. He's doing all these great drawings. And then look at this. He built this beautiful power supply. Prettier than mine, I'll tell you. Because I do these in a hurry and I just I should take the time. But, uh, man, look at that. Gene, what a great job. I appreciate that and all of the things. But here comes the goodie. <laughs> you remember last week we talked about the knob. I have a red chicken knob, a chicken head knob, right? A lot of people, what's a chicken head knob? Well, I get them in the mail this time. Lanny sent me these, one of my uh, AM buddies in the morning. I got a whole bunch of them from Lanny. Then, and I don't know who sent these, but thanks very much. I got some chicken head knobs. You ready for this, Valerie? They're purple. <laughs> and I found out from some of these guys that you go on eBay, you can find them in every color. So there you go. <laughs> well, what we want to do is... I, I want to clear up the power supply. We're not quite ready to build the, the preamp. We're going to talk about it in a little bit. But the power supply is very, very important. And uh, I had I told you in the beginning that we were going to have to make adjustments to those uh, bleeder resistors and the dropping resistors because of the the draw that each circuit would have on it. Well, the circuits are all done. We are finished. Uh, and I know what, uh, what the draw is. So there's been some changes in this power supply. And you want to pay attention because this is the final. And when we get done, uh, you using the transformers we recommend and all that, you're going to end up with 150 volts. That's right here. 150 volts. But we ended up here with uh, 1K. Uh, these are uh, two watt resistors and the 320 mic uh, at 450 volt capacitors. That's the completed power supply. Nail it. And um, once you get that done, then we can move on. But I want to give you some parts list in a little bit because you're going to get into the preamp section. And the preamps, uh, it's a. Uh, it really turned out well, I have to tell you. Just so you have it, here is the power supply schematic. That's the diagram of the power supply, the real one. And um, along with that is all uh, the list of all the parts. And um, Gene did a great job here. So you go through this, do a screenshot, whatever you need to do. But there are the parts. That transformer is very important. That came from Antique Radio Supply. All of this could come from them. With the exception of the 6X5, you want to get that from uh, uh, the vacuum tubes and more. And I, I have a new list I'll show you here in just a minute where, where you can buy all these. But the one important one is that transformer. It's got to be center tapped and uh, that number and you'll have it made. Otherwise, you'll have all kinds of different voltages and we don't want to do that. So here's the deal. The preamplifier is, it's fin all of this is finished. We'll get to see it in a little bit. And I, I have a list of all the parts. I'll come back to that for you. But um, what we want to do is show you the preamp as it is and as it will be. It's finished, it's working, and it sounds great. And uh, I have to tell you, I'm pretty surprised how good the thing works. Because <laughs> uh, there's only, look at the parts, there's only about 10 parts in here, but that's okay. Don't need a lot of parts. And um, next week, we're going to start getting into how all these things work, the circuitry and so on. But uh, this gives you an idea of what 
is uh, laid out for the power for the uh, preamp and here is the ah, there we go here's the the layout the way the parts are done under the tube socket and all of that um, make sure that everything is where you can get to it and uh, we had a few changes in it but uh, this is all just straight wire. We did have some resistors in here, but I increased the current a little bit by this way. I really got it sounding great. But that's that's the preamp, and uh, you'll hear it here in just a minute. And that's the layout that I did for the, for the one you're going to hear. And again, here are all the parts for the preamplifier. And uh, you'll get, the, uh, get, your, get your pine board all worked out. And uh, this will be what you're going to be doing to make that preamp work. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to lay the microphone down or maybe I'll put it in the boom. And what we'll do is bring it all over here and we'll hook it up and let you see what's going on. And again, you should be, if you're really going into this, you should be done with the power supply. Okay, I'm going to bring that over here. Stand by. see what I can do with the camera so you can see all of this. Uh, yesterday, I went over to Dick's house. Richard is the guy that turned me on to all of this. He's on our morning net, uh, AM net. And uh, gosh, we had a lot of fun. Um, but here, I'll just show you one by one. There's the power supply. And again, you'll be able to, to see some of this through the replays or uh, do screenshots of it. There is the preamp. And all the parts that you see right there, they're all right there on that preamp. And we're, I'm taking it very slow with everybody. We're going to do the preamp next and only do that after you have that power supply working. And when you go down and measure here, you've got a, a 150 volts, 6.3 here, ground there. And that will be all you need to make that little puppy work. And that goes through that cabling over to the power or to the transmitter. Same deal. I have this plugged in, by the way. Um, this is um, uh, 150 volts ground in the filament of 6.3. So let me go down here, turn on the strip, and here we go. We'll see what happens. Something should happen. <laughs> I got pilot lights to tell me what's going to happen. I just did that for the heck of it. Let me back this up a little. Look at that. Look at that. I got I'm um, tuning the final tuning. Let me, uh, let me punch up some, some audio here. Uh, okay. I don't have any antenna on this. And... What we're going to do here is plug in the microphone. I'm using one of our uh, PR28s, which is a really cool little microphone. I don't talk about that much, but it's it's wonderful. It's really, really wonderful. And uh, we have... Uh, uh, a lot of drummers using it for that, but I use it for uh, a lot of different things, and uh, it works well. Okay, got that going, got that going. Okay, there we go. Now, we'll notice, um, oh, let me get that over here. Uh, notice when I modulate how it, we get upward modulation. Hello, hello, hello. And that upward modulation is uh, important. We can tune the final and uh, you might end up with downward, but you want to be able to, to set it. But that's all stuff we're going to learn later on. We're going to do that much, much later. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll get into all this stuff later on that you can uh, hear it and make it happen. We'll get into the transmitter. But uh, right now, I want you to focus on the preamplifier. Because without that, uh, nothing happens. And uh, the, tra the, the transmitter is a little bit 
Uh, the transmitter is a little bit more, more complicated, so we want to we really want to make sure that the preamp is finished, done, and all that good stuff. Then we can make it all happen. Okay, let me turn this on. There we go with that big carrier. I hope you can hear this. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. Uh, let me get this microphone out of here so you're not hearing so much from the up in the mixer. There we go. Okay, there. And I'll take down the there we go. Uh, what you're listening to is the audio through the transmitter. One, two, three, four. Also, this is the output meter that's uh, coming off the uh, the output of the of the uh, receiver. Where's that? There it is. And you should be able to see that on the zero meter. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. And uh, again, we have the old purple <laughs> chicken head. Actually, I have it up too loud or too uh, too high. It's a little bit distorted. We want to roll that back. There we go. If I had a scope on here, I could tell exactly. But there it is right there. That sounds much better. So I hope you got to hear some of that. And uh, I'm really excited because it it worked out much better than I thought, I have to tell you. Uh, I, I figured it would have been a lot more difficult, but it's going to be uh, it's going to be good for you. The transmitter, my gosh, there's only about four parts in that transmitter. <laughs> and last but not least, I got to tell you, thank you very, very much, Bree. Um, he has great crystals, and there's the, uh, this is the forty meter crystal I got from him. Hey, yeah, Bob. I think you've got the yeah. transmitter up in the background still. How's that? that yeah, thank you. The uh, the crystals are great, and that's that's something that you want to pay attention to because at first we thought we had that lick, but no, we don't. Uh, we can now bet and be sure that they're going to be right, and they come from AF4K. Just put it in the Q uh, QRZ. And uh, he's got a really great page, and then he'll, it'll take you to your site. But these are the most important. Antique Electronic Supply is where you get that transformer. And a lot of other things, uh, you can get just about everything from there. I, uh, I recommend the vac – they'll do vacuum tubes, but I recommend uh, vacuum tubes come from vacuumtubes.com. And we'll get into this later. I'm not using a 12AU7. At first, we did when I first started working on it. But we're going to use a 12BH7. It's, uh, it's a bigger tube. It, uh, it, it puts out about twice the power, and uh, it's a direct replacement. And we, we get into that. We can plug them in. I'll show you all that. But um, we don't, I'm not even giving you a list of that because you shouldn't be worried about that transmitter right now. This is the baby right here. And there or all of the, uh, the radio days is also another one. And sometimes go in and look at the AM phone, A-M-F-O-N-E dot net. A lot of stuff there. But last but not least, I'll leave that up for a second. That will give you the parts. And uh, everything, is, everything is cooking. And I'm so happy. And I'm happy for you guys and gals. And congratulations to those that's already built it. I've got. I've gotten emails from people. They jumped way ahead, and they they pretty much knew what was happening. And uh, I guess they built stuff before, of course. And uh, they went ahead and built it. And of course, I showed you Gene's preamp, which was beautiful. So uh, things are going very well with the Pine Board project. So drop me a note. Let me know what's happening, and we'll uh, we'll be back here next week and do more. But uh, We'll get further into that preamp next week.